My name is Penny. I just want to tell you a little bit about ancient Greek dramatic theory and structure. Please keep in mind that we have about 31 tragedies surviving from the classical period that were all written by a total of three different writers. But in ancient times there were more than a thousand plays performed at the city of Dionysia, so we're looking at, uh, what is that, like 3% of the total output? We make all our decisions about what, about what the plays were like based on that. It's kind of ridiculous. But that being said, there are a few generalizations that are important. One of the qualities that we see in all Greek tragedies, and Aristotle pointed this out, is that the point in the plot in which the, the protagonist recognizes something significant about themselves is a high point in the plot. We call that the anagnoresis. Anagnoresis, it means a dawning on or a recognition. When the protagonist recognizes something about their nature, what was that? Okay, it's nothing. Ugh. Then the play really, excuse me. Then the play really takes on its thematic importance. Anagnoresis, recognition. You know, like when Oedipus realizes that he killed his father and married his mother. Recognition.